Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott. I'm here today with my amazing wife, Jacqueline. This video is gonna be about how to be a marriage millionaire as a salesman. Number one, I'm here today with my amazing wife, as I said, Jacqueline Elliott. She's incredible. And also, just to let you know this, me and my wife, when we team sold together, we made over $50,000 a month selling as a team. Three to four days a week. Yeah, three to four days a week. And I wanna explain this to you. As you listen, you're gonna understand the way that we connect. And I really believe that that's important. Whoever you are, when you're watching this video, man, woman, it doesn't matter. I don't care who you're married to or if you're single, but at one day, you're gonna to wanna to spend the rest of your life with someone. Somebody, and maybe you already have that somebody now. It's very important that before you're rich, being a marriage millionaire, right? You must feel rich in the relationship that you have. And as me being a salesperson, and obviously as my wife, she's an incredible saleswoman as well, it's important that we're close and that at the end of the day, after we go to work and we hustle all day and we grind, that we don't go home and give our family leftovers. It's important to go home and have special energy saved for your family. So I wanted to shoot this today and have my wife here and by the way my wife is my business partner she's also a better salesperson than me she's a better closer than me she closed bigger deals than me closed you and she closed me that's for sure but here's one of the neatest things that I want you to understand this and if you're a saleswoman watching this this is amazing but any man watching this I know that you know you have a wife at home and I want to tell you that it's important that my wife when I come home at the end of the day that she sees that I'm fulfilling myself as a man and playing at my highest level and my best and when I come through the door I don't look at her like man you know well what's to eat no I come in and I'm like man baby what's going on man god I miss you like crazy and you're like Andy where do you get that energy from well I get it from the balance that we have with our family so it's really important I wanted her to maybe share some stuff with you that we've done as we've grown and and, and I would say me doing most of the growing and her telling me what to do <laughs> because that's what she does and she's great at it and by the way I want to say this to you she writes most of the content all the closes that I have most most of the time I'll hit her with it and she's like, you know what Andy, what if you said it this way? And I'm like, okay, it looks like that's the way we're gonna use it. And that's what I do. So we sharpen each other. I think iron sharpens iron. And you know, a lot of guys have like a best friend that they share stuff with and all that. Um, I share everything with her. I really believe that if you wanna be the best salesperson in the world, I believe that you're gonna have to have that relationship at home. And we call this, and this video is titled, How to Be a Marriage Millionaire. Um, what does that mean to you, baby? Well. Before we get into the marriage millionaire thing, I, I think that a lot of us commonly make a lot of mistakes as couples and as business partners or whatever. Um, one of the things that I see a lot of, because we train a lot of people uh, complain about at home is, hey, my wife doesn't support me while I'm trying to grow in this business. And I think that a lot of that is like self-induced a lot of times. And it's because sometimes we have certain obstacles that we get at work, our managers or coworkers or whoever could be giving us certain things that we kind of like put us in some type of mood or that affect us and the person that we vent to obviously is our spouse when we come home yeah. so the thing is that sometimes we forget to share the good things and sometimes we share too much of the bad things so then as a salesman I think that you get a lot of the hey my wife doesn't support me or I had to stay late on this deal or whatever it is and now she's upset or vice versa it can be the other way around and it's because we tend to tell the bad things and when the good things happen we don't so I had this thing kind of before everything with me and Andy I had something said in my mind a lot of things and my family thinks Andy's like a god um, yeah no just kidding but no yeah, but, but so, why though because no, she but the always reason, shares yeah I always say hey you know what stuff. there's something there's something that I, I made a commitment with myself and I always saw a lot of my friends always not support the couple or whatever it was and it's because I noticed that they would basically share oh I got in a fight with him today or I didn't agree with him this or he told me this or whatever so I knew that if I said anything bad because I my dad's only girl you know and you know I knew my dad didn't only wanted the best for his daughter so I was like hey you know what I'm only I'm not gonna tell my dad hey we got into a fight or we had this or that because I always wanted him to look at Andy a certain way because I know that whatever it was we were gonna overcome that and that he was always gonna have that look in his face or those things stick with parents you can translate that to business you can translate that to your home life or whatever it is but you always have to know like choose your words wisely and share everything 
with your spouse, but when you really want that support, always have in mind what you've shared with them and really look from the outside in and be like, hey, if, if my wife were to be telling me the same things that she's experiencing at work, would I want her to be that and live a miserable life and keep going to work and still be late at home and giving us the type of life? No, so always always think about that. So always learn what, to, what you feed is what you're gonna get out of your relationship, just like a plant, yeah, obviously, perception. and everything. So, um, and being uh, marriage millionaires, I mean, obviously, I mean, we weren't millionaires when we first uh, started, but no. something that we grew, we learned something that we always said, you know, someone wins, no one wins, you know? Mm. Um, so it was one of those things that, you know, we just basically learned. Learn to fight fair. You fight fair. You don't say something that's gonna be mean that you're gonna regret later. Don't say something that you're angry, that you're gonna come back and, and you know, have to apologize for later that you don't really mean. Don't say anything that you wouldn't like to be send, said to yourself, you know? And in the beginning, we probably weren't as fair, but we learned to be yeah. fair with, with the years and, you know, and everything else. So yeah, that's and, why. And I think going back to that is, look, when she took me on, right? Like I was a project, okay? She was 24, I was 26. And you know, it was like, hey, I'm an alpha, right? She's an alpha. Yeah. And you know, we both wanted to win. Mm -hmm. So we had to learn when someone wins, no one exactly. wins. And that's what that means. And so what we did is we set out some rules that we had to learn to fight fair. And that means that we could no longer get historical. Mm -hmm. She said, hey Andy, you know what? If you want to be the man that you say that you're going to be to me, I'm going to trust you to start being that person. And then by the way, I want to be the woman that you want me to be as well. Mm -hmm. So anything from today forward, let's focus on and let's not focus on the past. So what you did six months ago, I can't throw that back up in your face in a fight tomorrow, okay? I can't say, well, you know what? And you know what that reminds me of? Remember six months, months ago when you did this? You know, we agreed that we couldn't get historical anymore. So we had to fight fair and we had to also hear each other out. You know, one of the things is when she starts talking, I wasn't even really listening to what she was saying. I was preparing for what I was gonna say next. Mm -hmm. And that right there is like, man, I mean, at the truly end of the day, listen. truly listen is a big, a big thing yeah. because if it's something that's bothering the other person, I mean, it's something that means something to them. And in men and women are different. I mean, there's some things that are important to Andy that are not important to me and are not so important to me. There's some things that are important to me that are not important to Andy. Through the years, I think we've learned that we've kind of like the things that are important to him are also important to me. And that yeah. we also learn to like kind of be the same. Like he's well, good I've learned at, to care because I really care about you. And exactly. I know if it's important to you, then it needs to be important to me. Exactly. And I think that that's the deal. Are you willing to adapt and change? And and you say, Andy, well, man, this is on a sales tra channel. Listen, how great is your sales life and how much do you sell when you're fighting with your spouse? Oh, you can't. I mean, I mean, how emotional, right, is it when you're fighting with the person you love? I mean, when we go to work, we talk about the number one thing as a salesperson that you got to have is a great attitude and energy. Yeah. You pull the great attitude and the energy out, you're done. And what are the two th quickest things to pull energy and attitude out? It's fighting with the person you love. I think the worst thing that could happen is that sometimes we ask for advice through the wrong people. Mm. And most of the time, our friends and even our family, you know, because they try to protect us in a certain way, they protect us the wrong way and they try to give us advice like, oh, you shouldn't be that, or I knew he wasn't this, or I knew she wasn't that, or whatever it is. And you know, those I told you same uh, things are not, not good for a relationship. What you have to do, I mean, I believe, I know exactly what it is that I've wanted to do in my life 100% of the time. And when you ask for advice, you're just asking for confirmation of something you already know. So follow your gut and what you want. And if you truly care about about your husband, you truly care about your wife, you're gonna make that a priority. And if you really wanna be a good businessman or woman, you're gonna learn to make that your priority because I know that when I support Andy, he's limitless. Like he can go so far and he does so well and he can pour into others. He can pour into <laughs> into others because I know that you, as a woman, you nurture that. And in the same way I can build you up like that, I can also put you down and that's the power of a woman. Yeah, let's, let, let's not miss that what she just said, okay? <laughs> as fast as she could build me up, she could also tear me back down. It she's, goes both ways. Yeah, no, she's my gold and then she's my kryptonite at the same time because you put your whole heart into relationships. And by the way, life is better lived with somebody. Now look, you know, 
if you're in a bad relationship and you got the wrong person, maybe there is a, a tie you gotta cut and just move on and take this advice for the next person that you're with. But the idea of it is, is that I would tell you that I was a mess, okay? And you know, she gave me multiple chances to change. And you know, we're going back into our 20s and we're, and we're I'm 40 now and she's 39, so she's about to be over the hill. You know what I'm saying? I am. Yeah. yeah so, just a few more it, months. So, I'm so, still in my 30s we, we, for a been, little bit. We've been together for uh, you know a long time, but I just want to tell you that I, I was thinking about the other day and I was like, man, you know, like strong couples, you know, there's no, there's no wonder why they succeed and why they have the great life. And by the way, you may see our, our marriage right now and you're like, man, you know, that's the marriage I want. It, it, it is, we have the most phenomenal marriage in the world and without money involved, we are marriage millionaires. Before there was a dollar, mm -hmm. we felt rich. Mm -hmm. And you know, we worked really hard to do that just like you work hard to make money. We worked hard to build this marriage millionaire love that we have for each other and also that our children feel. Mm -hmm. And we're able to take that now and into our sales training space, love on other people like never before. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have a trust in a bond that like without question or doubt or anything or suspicion, like I'm not worried about my wife on any day, she's not worried about me. We are on a mission together and it's so cool when you can get to that space and I think that you can do it. I, I know that all you have to do is the person that you're with, right? Mm -hmm is just decide to say, hey, you know what? We're sick and tired of being sick and tired of having the relationship we have. Um, yeah. It's yeah. there. Exactly. Let's take it. And a lot of a lot of the times, and a lot of, in, in business, and I and I saw it with, with you, um, and I see it with a lot of our salesmen and people that, that we talk to, very successful or not so successful, whatever it is, when they get to a certain point in life, when they start doing well um, in business, they start feeling like, hey, I can't be a great father, mm. or I can't can't be a great you know I get a husband or I can't be a great wife or a great mother at the same time because I'm a great business person um, that was one of the biggest things that Andy had to uh, that struggled with at one time until I told him hey you know what you can be all of it. You don't have to decide. You can be a good salesman. You can be a good business owner. You can be a good father. You can be a good, you know, husband. You can be a, all of it. A lot of times, I think a lot of people limit themselves and say, hey, I have to do this because I need to accomplish these goals in my business. And then they forget the other part. But imagine if you had that support at home or if you had that love and you had that, you know, from everybody, how much stronger, how much more could you do in an hour than you would in 24 hours working against the wind you know like it's like you're running against it I mean it's just it's just it's the force that you get with with everybody involved and with all the, yeah. the love and everything yeah, yeah. And take, the, take the glass ceilings off mm -hmm. you can have the the parenting at a 10 mm -hmm. the business at a 10 and the marriage at, at a 10 and I really believe that that right there is the one thing that I was struggling with, like she just nailed, mm -hmm. is that I wanted the business in so bad that what I would do is almost push these other two off, which I didn't mean to, but because I was chasing business. And then I was like, well, if I spend more time with my family, then I'm gonna miss sales at work. You know, it was like, I and was constantly torn. And, I, and, I, and like she said, she's like, dude, do you really wanna live your life miserable? You can have it all, Andy. You just gotta open your mind and believe. And guess what? I just said, hey, you're right. Like I'm in my own mind. I keep making, you know, excuses, right? <laughs> right, which makes me look like an idiot. I keep making excuses. And at the end of, the, of my life, if I continue on this path, I will die with regret. Even if I'm the most successful businessman, I will be regretting the way I took care of my family. Now, we do understand sacrifice in our family as salespeople. Yeah. We and make the, a lot of sacrifices in our family, but they're sacrifices that we know have a certain meaning and we know we're not, we wouldn't leave our family or anything like that. I mean, it's something that we do together as a family. We're all involved. Yeah, and that's, the, she said all involved. So when I make a sacrifice, it's not like I say, hey baby, I had to make this sacrifice. No, we have already talked about this sacrifice. And I said, honey, I just feel like I'm having a trouble in this area. You know, what, what do you think I need to do? You know, obviously I, I wanna win and I wanna win here. I wanna win everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the way we're built. So what do you think? And she says, hey, I think you can do it. And I think that I would understand if you did this and then we can and do we that that way it. for a couple weeks to get you back on track or get you ahead. Let's restructure and we make the plan together. These kind of relationships do exist.
They do, okay? Um, and by the way, you could have had the worst life up to this point, but as long as you decide that from this point forward, God made you to have a great marriage, a great covenant, a great relationship, also to be extremely successful and to raise wonderful children, if you have any. You can do everything and to stay healthy, you know what I mean, right? Health and wellness and staying in shape and taking care of each other. These are all goals that we push together as a family. Mm -hmm. So we don't talk about it enough. And as my wife always guides me and I think about, you know, the next thing I want to teach, what do I need to put in this seminar? What, you know, and I'm always trying to stay ahead. It's like, we, we try to think like a year ahead constantly on where the market's going, what sales people need to be taught, how we can level up every day and get better, which we do every single day of our life. And also how our marriage can get better every single day. And the, the interesting thing about that is we see it in the people that we train. We train a lot of young people, but we also train train a lot of people that are married and that have their relationships and their life is falling apart yeah, and burnout they, comes into yeah. marriage like it comes into work exactly but they, they're they're not making money they're not doing they're not fulfilling their obligations financially but also like they're not having a good relationship they're not being good parents they're not being good husbands or wives they're not they're not doing any of that so part of what we teach and what we preach you know is that it's not just about the money yes the money will facilitate a lot of things in life but it's about being a better person a better father a better mother a better mm -hmm. you know everything a better wife a better husband it's about being a better you so yeah. you know it's it's you don't have to you don't have to live that way so if you have your your spouse involved and you have them bought in to what you're doing in life it's always so much better to get to something to achieve a goal to when they're part of it so you know don't keep them in the dark don't just tell yeah. them the negative things tell them the positive things tell them hey you know babe, I'm working really hard and I'm working a few extra hours but I'm trying to do this for us and then that way they understand they understand because what they ultimately want to do is they want you to be happy they want you to be passionate about what you do I guarantee you if you work a ton of hours and you show them passion for your job or whatever it is that they you do in life they will support you more than not and they will give you trouble for being late or whatever it is you know obviously as you get better at your job you quit doing that as well because that that comes with skill but I, what I'm saying is if you are miserable and you show them that you're miserable at work and everything then they're not gonna support you and you can't complain about it later yeah coming home after working a 12-hour day and saying hey what's going on Ugh, nothing I'm just I'm just working my ass off man I mean nothing's panning out I mean she's like dude what are you I mean, doing what are you doing Show her that you're passionate. Be passionate at what you do. Be passionate at your work. You will make more money. Be passionate about anything you do, you're gonna make more money. Be passionate about your relationship, you're gonna have a better relationship. Be passionate about being a good father or mother, you're gonna be a better father and mother. Be passionate about life, be happy, smile more. I mean, yeah. just be passionate. This right here, my wife, me and her have created Being a Marriage Millionaire. We have had the worst of fights and we have had the best of days. But through all of it, you know what? Our fights, we got over our five, in minutes, five, minutes. Our five, five minutes. in five minutes. <laughs> and anybody that tells you they don't fight, they're a liar, okay? Um, what we've gotten better is to not fight as much and, and then we fair. do fight get f always fight fair and fight really fast so that, that was the big project with yeah this yeah guy. you see you see the passion guys when I mean, you can charm them like this I mean it's just it's easy but he's good at fighting fast now yeah yeah because I want to get it over with and I didn't used to want to get it over with because I didn't want to fight because I'm a very non-combative person and I'm very low um, I don't know low key even though um, I'm aggressive right no no, no. And, I'm, I'm, and I'm a hunter I'm also very uh, non-combative like I don't like it you know what I'm saying um, I don't want to talk about the uncomfortable things mm -hmm. so I just wanted to tell everybody that look if you want to kill it and dominate it in sales if you have someone else that you're married to or that you're with or that lives with you or that's important to you or you think you're gonna marry you know just think about this video maybe even watch it with them because if you're gonna be extremely successful in anything in life mm -hmm. you are going to have to be rich before you're rich so with that being said hey we love you guys thank you baby doll thank I you appreciate it and I hey and by the way man listen if you watch this I'm trying to get her to do, do a bunch of uh, killer training videos comment below if you need her, if you would like to see her do some killer training videos she's really good at them okay anyways love you guys see ya thank you see ya